What's up guys, Subzeric here. So this morning, I was watching the Hearthstone European Spring Championship semi-finals between Loyan and Tice, and in their fifth game, I noticed something pretty interesting. There was a significant misplay in this game that ended up greatly affecting the outcome of the game, and I was almost happy to see it, because many players write off high-level Hearthstone as two people who have already hit the game's skill cap, playing with whatever RNG gives them. However, here it was showcased that playing perfectly in competition is actually very difficult, and even great players make mistakes. So without further ado, let's get into the misplay and see just what went wrong. So initially, I'm going to give you guys a look at the board state here. Loyan has a Wild Pyromancer and Tice has a King's Elect and Savannah High Main. Now, Loyan's eventually going to play Humility on the Savannah High Main and drop his Sylvanas, granting him some board pressure and making it so that he won't take damage from this High Main. However, the way he does it is a little odd and almost completely wrong. Instead of attacking face with the Wild Pyromancer and then using the Humility to deal one damage to all three creatures on board, he attacks the King's Elect with his own Pyromancer, drops the Sylvanas, and uses Humility on the Savannah High Main. The weakness of this play is that High Main stays at 5 health instead of 4, and Tice takes 3 less damage. Now, an argument can be made that he was trying to preserve 4 health, or an extra 1 health, on the high main so that when he steals it with Sylvanas it'll have 5 health, but it's very unlikely that Tice is going to give him this high main with the death rattle still intact, so I don't think it's likely that that's going to happen. So many people would write this off as, you know, just a small misplay, it doesn't really matter that much, but I'm going to speed up through the game and show you guys that actually it ended up really impacting the end of the game. So here, Tice and Loyan go back and forth with board control, but Tice is running out of cards, and he decides that, you know, he's going to have to start getting damage in somewhere. Now, Loyan gets a lot of board control here by playing this Justicar True Heart and creating three dudes by using his hero power twice, uh, the second one being empowered from Justicar True Heart. So now he's got four dudes, and he gets damage into Tice's face, putting him at 22. Tice draws his second kill command here, which is pretty lucky in that... He can now deal 13 damage to his opponent's face, putting him at 4, and then all he has to do is draw a quick shot and kill him off. Now most people would say, okay, quick shot, that's basically the only out here, he's got to do a little bit more damage, but, you know, some people would be a little bit more observant and say, hey, wait a minute, there's another out. It's Houndmaster. If he draws Houndmaster, that'll give him the extra 2 damage to kill off Loyan, and all he needs to use Houndmaster to buff a beast is, well, a beast. Now, if this Savannah High Main was at 1 health, which it would be if Loyan had made the better play earlier with the Wild Pyromancer, then what Loyan could have done is used one of the dudes to pop the Freezing Trap that Tice just played, used another dude to kill off the High Main, then he would use the Stampeding Kodo that he just do to kill off one of the Hyenas, and then he would use his third and fourth Silverhand Recruits to kill off the other two Hyenas. This would get rid of all the beasts, he would be able to attack face for 11 with just Guard True Heart and Sylvanas, and eventually win the game unless Tice drew into Quickshot. But basically what he would be doing is removing one of Tice's outs with this play, and funnily enough, the one card that Tice draws, it's kind of obvious where I'm leading this, is the Houndmaster. It ends up winning him the game. And it's just interesting to see an out that could have been completely taken away by Loyan if he had played this game out correctly. Now, I don't know if Loyan would have ended up winning the series, but it was just really cool to me to see a game that was impacted so strongly by one player's play as opposed to RNG. So if you guys like this video, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you can hit subscribe if you want. I do a lot more streaming on Twitch than I do making videos uh, right now, so if you guys give me a follow on Twitch, that would be greatly appreciated, because I'm just starting up streaming. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys again for watching, and bye.